Cincinnati. for Cincinnati. Barry Larkin. Barry Larkin. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. High fly ball right field. Number 19 under it. And it's caught for the out. So digging in, Mariano Duncan. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. First oh. offering misses the mark. In the air out to center, Jackson on his way in. Got it. Nice grab. Two away. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. So up next, Hal Morris carries the eighth best batting average in the National League entering play. And fouled off. A one down. That one fouled off. Next one, one in the dirt. And yeah, that's outside. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. And that one is lifted in the air. He's got it. And that is out number three. Bottom of the first. Stepping in for San Diego, Roberts. The second baseman, number 10. The wind of the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. And there's a ball. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And that should be extra bases. The throw in, and that's a leadoff double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. He's trying for third. There's a ball, and that's a stolen base. Not even close. On the ground, right side. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Next for the Padres, number 19. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. First offering, and it just misses. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The one two and down on strikes two away two outs bases empty and now number 27 that one catches the zone that's strike one And that's in the dirt. One strike. Next pitch is outside. Popped in the air, left side. Drops into the glove. And that is that. All set for the start of the inning the at the play. Paul O'Neill. Paul O'Neill. Rasmussen back to work. That misses. And that is ball one.
And it's fouled away. Here's a 1-1. One, one. There's a strike. Struck him out looking. Eric Davis, the next to hit for the Reds. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And he deals. Slapped foul. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. He goes down looking. Now here is Reggie Sanders. First pitch just misses. And now the lefty. And a foul ball makes the count two and a one. Here comes a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. 2-2 two -two now. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the rookie DH, Eddie Williams. And the pitch. There's the strike. Looks like he sacrificed to pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. And the righty deals. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That oh. high fastball. You have to one get ball. it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Now it's the shortstop, number one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Righty delivers. And that one wrapped foul. Righty to the plate. Ground ball right side. Whips it to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Benito Santiago, the next up for the Padres. Tripled yesterday. That was his only hit. He was one for four. In there for strike one. And that's a strike. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Oh. Next offering is downstairs. That's no. a little bit low. It's a good take. 
Two down, nobody on. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Goes hey. down looking. Top half of the third inning. In now for the Reds, number 17. Number 17. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Number 19 glides to his left, tracks it down for the out. One down. Here's the left fielder, number 22. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. That's in there. And that's strike one. Popped up on the left side of the infield. Fernandez settles underneath it, puts it away for the out. Joe Oliver now at the plate. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. And the 1 0. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. That misses. Now two balls and a strike. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. Two two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. The wind to kick the pitch. Got him swinging. As we go to the last of the third, and here is Thomas Howard. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Check swing, but it's put in play. One up, one down. Nice job of deception right there by the pitcher. Got the hitter out there a little bit. Couldn't check his swing and induces a nice little ground out. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Jackson, 30 years old now. He's knocked in nine over his last 10 games. Swing and a miss. 0 oh, 2 now. This one in the air center field. Davis settles under this one, hauls it in for the out. So the lineup flips over. Roberts, the next up for the Padres. Double the lead off the bottom of the first. Ball one, no strikes. Called strike right there. One one. Next offering is Ooh. in for a strike. One and, two. and a pop up right side foul territory. Full extension makes the catch. Back here at the ballpark, here's a speed threat. Barry Larkin. Barry Larkin. Certainly doing his very best out there on the mound to bring that win streak to a halt. First pitch, and he just misses. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Mariano Duncan, the next to hit for the Reds. He's all for one. That's off the mark, and it's one to no. There's the strike at the knees. And now two balls and a strike. Two 
The Reds yet to pick up a hit here. That one missed. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. That one Three finds ball. the zone. Three and two now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And here it comes. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Next to hit, Hal Morris. Go for one so far. First offering misses the mark. One and out. And that one is inside. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Next offering misses, and now three and one. Awkward swing there from the big left handed hitter. Off balance as well. The wind of the pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Makes the grab on the run. And that's the third out. And welcome back. Bottom four. And stepping in is the speedy Tony Fernandez. And a pitch. Foul ball there. The 0 1. And there's a foul ball. Kicks and fires. And now That's 1 ball. and 2. 0 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. No, Next ball. pitch is outside. And the right hander deals. And down on strikes he goes. One away. Number 19, the next up for the Padres. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. First offering, and it just misses. And that's a little high. And a 2-1 on the way. And that's through there for a strike. And that's downstairs and outside. One down, base is empty. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. One down. Number 27, the next up for the Padres. One and it's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run oh. or run and hit. No and now two and nothing. Going, the kick going, and the runner. pitch. Runner goes. Strike in there. Throw safe. Left-hand hitter waits. That's in there. And that is strike two. I think he was sitting off speed right there because he just let the fastball go by. And it's filled up. The pitch. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. The run comes in from second, and they take a two-run lead. Picks himself up an RBI. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Now it's going to be Eddie Williams. First pitch doesn't find the zone.
Right-hander kicks, deals. And oh. another ball. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. And a pitch. That's in there. Fall off foul. And that's ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. Number one, batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Swing and a ball popped up. Pulls it in for the out. So first and second with two outs. Next, it's the catcher for the Padres, Benito Santiago. That one's in there. It's 0-1. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. The next offering misses, and it's 1-2. and two. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. To the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. New inning getting started. Now the Reds' cleanup hitter, Paul O'Neill. The pitch. There's a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. High in the air, out to right. Number 19, ranging back, and there's one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Next to hit, Eric Davis. He's a guy who does it all. Swing and a miss. No Going one. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Late swing fouled off. The Reds still looking for their first hit in this one. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. And that skips in the dirt. And a pitch. Oh, Just missed. Three balls. He's great. And he walked him. That's a tough one to swallow right there. If you're on the mound, you're ahead in the count 0 2, and you just couldn't find a way to put him away. It's going to be frustrating if that one comes back to bite him. Swung on, belted. That one carrying. And it is gone. He sends one out the opposite way. It's his eighth home run of the year. It's 2-2. Bases empty, one away. Number 17, the next to hit. Swings and misses. And it's 0-1. pitch one ball one still only one out here in the inning in the air left side Howard puts the squeeze on that one two down Good pitch. He just kind of no, had no, him out no. in front on that no, pitch no, away no, no, no. and wasn't able to stay closed. Out towards right center field. 
and that's the inning. Welcome back. Now the left fielder, Thomas Howard. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. That one finds the corner. It's 0-1. But this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Now this is a rough start to the inning. It's easy to feel like you're on an island on the mound, but he knows his defense is there to back him up. And that one in the air center field. Davis under it. Makes the catch. And there's one down. Back to the top of the lineup. Roberts will hit next. And remember, he was absolutely robbed of a base hit last time up. Roper throws over. Howard back in on a dive. Another throw over. And he's back in that time as well. Back to first. And again, he's back safely. That's in there. Strike one. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Knocks it down. Makes the turn at second. Heads for third. He's in with a double. And that's his second double of the night. Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Two on, one out. Tony Fernandez, the next up for the Padres. And ball one. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Swing and a miss. One now one and two. That misses off the outside edge. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. Which yeah. That one ripped. Oh, he gloves it. Nice swing and good solid contact. That ball was smoke, but needed a little more lift to get into the outfield gap. Maybe a little more backspin. Number 19 in the box now. Take strike one. That was just paint on the first pitch fastball. Check swing. Went around. And a count is 0-2. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Six. Here's the Reds catcher, Joe Oliver. Oliver. Rasmussen back to work. Just missed. Two of the most potent offenses in the game squaring off. They say it went. The wind of the pitch. That's off the mark. That account is three and one. In the air, right field, number 19. Under it. And there's one away. So back to the top of the Reds lineup. Next for Cincinnati, Barry Larkin. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. And there's two down. Mariano Duncan, the next to hit for the Reds. Mariano. 
Duncan in his ninth season, 31 years old, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 325 in his last 10 games. Line drive, a dive, and he can't haul it in. Around first, heading for two, and he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Go ahead, run on base. Hal Morris getting ready to hit. Check swing, and that's a ball. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Two balls, no strikes to count. Tap dances out of the way of that one. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. O'Neal up to bat next lays off for a ball. Hot shot to third. Oh, the throw is over his head. Duncan rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score. It's 3-2. So two down. Here's the center fielder, Eric Davis. And that one is inside ball one. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. is fouled off. Corners are occupied with two down. Next one misses and it's two and two. Called out on strikes. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. Welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. And here's the first baseman, go, number 27. The first baseman, number the pitch. 27. And that misses off the outside edge. There's the strike. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. Next offering misses down and away. Next offering is fouled back. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And he deals. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And next is the designated hitter, Eddie Williams. There's a strike. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Strike two. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Has it offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Out to short. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Number one in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Swing and a miss and it's nothing in two. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Pitch misses. Now one and two.
good eye right there. Oh, well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's sometimes where a pitcher would rather just give up. And that's a fair ball down the right field line. And that's going to roll a while. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. Stepping in for San Diego, Benito Santiago, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Kicks and deals. This one high in the air to left center. Number 22 on the move to the gap. Pulls it in on the run. And that is that. Donnie Elliott will take over here. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now it's the Reds' DH. Reggie Sanders. He's already homered in this game. And the pitch. There's a high chopper. And that's just foul. An uncharacteristic mistake from a really good defensive player. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Outside. Oh. Last couple of pitches breaking balls oh. away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Swing and that one hammered down the line. If it's fair, it's gone, and that is out of here. He flexes his power with that swing. His second home run of the game. It's 4 2. So digging in, number 17. And that's in there for strike one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Lined, and that's a base hit. Now back, number, number 22. 22. Number 22, the next to hit for the Reds. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Righty delivers. Good eye right there. That's inside. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And a 3-0 finds his own. Runner at first with no outs here. And there's ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Job Oliver now at the plate. First pitch oh. just misses. Runners on the move. Cut on and miss. And the throw, he's out at third. Elliott picks over, and he's back safely. Runner at second here, one gone.
And a weak ground ball to the left side. Sends it to first. Two gone now. So two down now. And here is Barry Larkin. Barry Larkin. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. One ball, no strikes. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Makes the grab, tracks it down after the long run. And that'll do it. We're back in a new picture here to start the bottom of the seventh. Johnny Ruffin. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Johnny. So digging in now for San Diego, Thomas Howard. No left field here. Thomas Howard. The pitch. That's in for a strike. You know, these Padres looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get back. 0-2 oh, now. And there's a ball. And a one-two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Caught him looking for the K. Next for the Padres, Darren Jackson. And the first pitch misses for ball one. On the ground to the left. And that's a fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Around first. Digging for two. And that's a two-bagger. Up now the Padre leadoff man, Roberts. That misses. One and oh. The tying run at the plate. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Davis makes the catch for the second out. Now the third baseman, Tony Fernandez. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Swing and a miss. Going on. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Fouled off. He was late. Here's the 0-2. That one what missed. This? And a ball evens the count. Two outs. Bounced up the middle. Dives, but it's off his glove. He decides to eat it, and the defense comes away with nothing. So two outs with runners on the corners. Stepping in for San Diego, number 19. This guy wanted the best contact men in the sport as well. Outstanding on the defensive end. Runners on first and third, two away. Next one is off the play. And the count even one and one. Move to first. Back in there standing. And that one is lifted in the air. 
Grabs it on the run. And the inning is over. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number 26. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. Mariano Duncan digs in now. One for three. Mariano Duncan. And here it comes. And he pumps it a strike. At the belt and fires. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. That misses, and the count is even two and two. Here comes a pitch. Ball three. Three balls. And great. To the right side, Roberts. To first. One up, one down. And now the first baseman, Hal Morris. Number 23. Hal Morris. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. And that one just missed off the outside edge. No strike. There's a strike. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. And a swing and a miss. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Next pitch is downstairs. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. 3-2. That's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Just a great at bat right there. Saw a lot of pitches. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. Runner takes off. Swing and a miss. Bro, and they got him. Got him swinging for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Hector Carrasco. Well, the you're best right, relievers right. love the opportunity now, to come in and protect a tight lead Number late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Number 27, the next to hit, takes ball one. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Next offering is fouled back. The 1-1. One, one. Hard hit, left side. On to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. And now the DH, Eddie, Eddie Williams. Eddie Williams. And that is in for a strike. Oh, one, one. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Real ugly 0 1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. And that one finds its way through. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. 
Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Number one in the box now, takes strike one. Known for his late inning heroics. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But you know at the very least if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. And the pitch. Falling behind two and one. Williams the runner at first with one gone to the inning. Hit on the ground to the right side. Oh, great stop. Morris tossed the second on to first. Save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. That's why you hunt the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this. Positioned perfectly. Santiago stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next pitch misses. Now 2 0. Oh. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And that one missing low. And ball four to a board. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way on. That's a strike. And it's 0-1. And that's outside. Ball to strike. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Ground ball up the middle. Tosses to first. And that is the inning. Out of the bullpen for the Padres, Larry Anderson. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Now into the game, Darren Jackson. He'll be out in left field. So digging in, Eric Davis. This guy has turned into a beast. The why to kick the pitch. Anderson goes six feet, three inches. He features a slider, a four seamer, and he works in a changeup. And that one fouled off. Anderson ready to work. And a base hit into right. He was all over that one. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Stepping in, Reggie Sanders. Throw to second, tag, and they got him. That's in there. One ball, one strike. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Struck him out looking. Number 17, the next to hit for the Reds. Ball one there. Next offering misses, two and oh. Two down, nobody on. Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first. And yes, he offered at it. Righty to the play. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. 
hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Bottom of the inning, and now the center fielder, Darren Jackson. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Now, Boog, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. Pitch misses inside. Yeah, that's ball two. Right-handed reliever. That one missed. Now three and oh. That clips the corner. Downstairs and it misses ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. That one pushed foul. Jackson gets his lead at first. Nobody out. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here. The pitch. Bounce to the left side. To second for one. A sensational double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. On the ground, out to short. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Reds take game one of the series on the road. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at m 